I got a bit of a sleep in this morning, which was great. <clears throat> I am taking full advantage while I can. Last night I was watching TV and I was thinking to myself, this could potentially be the last night that you will live on this earth without having a daughter <laughs> or a child to take care of. <laughs> I'll have nights when I'm older without a child to take care of, but I was just like, kind of hit me all at once. So I was like, wow, um, crazy. So today they, uh, our construction company, Mastercraft was here doing a little bit of stuff. They hooked up the dishwasher, which they did not have to do. So I really, really appreciate that. New dishwasher seems to be good, ready to go. I'm gonna use it today because my sink is full of freaking dishes. Um, I'm gonna give you guys a little pan around the room here in a minute, but baby is still in here, still hanging out inside my stomach. So until we go to the river around May 19th, no one else will be in here working. So I'm feeling really good about that because I just like need to get work done. And so I'm pretty excited about the fact that <laughs> I can just do whatever I want today, wherever in the house and no one will be here. So pretty stoked on that. Nick is going to be off for paternity leave starting tomorrow. So kind of crazy. Um, he was going to be off for paternity leave starting, uh, yesterday, but I was like, the baby's not here yet. I'm not in labor. Like just go to work. I've been, uh, I've been charging up our little outlet. Every person that comes in here is like, what the hell is this weird little sock shoe thing that you have over here? <laughs> and then I have to explain it. But um, yeah, I got this little guy. I wanted to get it in pink, but they didn't have it. So I thought the mint was still really cute. Here is where we're at with the remodel stuff. So obviously we still need to paint, um, but we've got our little guy in there. We also need a handle on there. Handles over here. You're very cute. Our fireplace doesn't work. I don't know if I've told you guys that, but basically it lights up the rocks, but the flames don't work. So it's just our luck. <laughs> and the other thing is that they don't have another one in the entire United States, supposedly. So we're gonna figure that out at some point. Um, we have got some cabinets and drawers over here. Again, we need to buy some more handles for that. And um, Nick's gonna make shelves to go here. Also, there needs to be another light up here. There's a light over on that one. So yeah, we, Nick's gonna continue building the hood. I mean, then over here, nothing really much has changed since you guys saw it. So I'm gonna work on cleaning up these islands today. And yeah, so I guess this is as good as it's gonna get till baby gets here. Um, and after, I don't want anyone in here for like a month after, so. This room, um, the flooring kind of got pulled up the other day because the ground is uneven over here. So we'll have to figure that out at some point. This is gonna have to be painted also, which is kind of annoying because this is gonna be my parents' room when the baby comes, they're coming right out. We were gonna mount the TV on the wall and put the bed in here and everything, but like it still needs to be painted. So we may put the TV on the wall, we may not. Um, not really too sure, but at least we're gonna remove that and then put the bed in here and take this guy out of here so that they have a bed to sleep in. But I was hoping that this would be a little more finished by the time the baby came and they were gonna sleep in here. Hell, we don't even have a door yet. <laughs> so we're working on it. Let's go ahead and put the dishes away and then load the dishwasher. I'm about to film some videos right now, but I just realized I forgot to tell you guys, today is May 2nd, which means today was my guess for when the baby was gonna come. So <laughs> the day is not over, so we'll see what happens, but it's not really looking like today's gonna be the day. Well, it's like three something and I'm still not in labor. So apparently my guess may not be good either, although we do have all the way until midnight, technically. <laughs> um, honestly, I wouldn't be bummed if she did come on her due date because eight is, my, eight is my favorite number and my dad's favorite number. 
I didn't actually discover that between me and my dad till I was like older, but kind of funny. Um, the one thing I'm just real sick of is, you guys know what I'm gonna say, the swollen legs, ankles, and feet. I am just watching a little bit of Bridget uh, Taylor on here, some how to breathe and push down during labor. She's got some awesome videos. She also has a course um, that I took, uh, but you know what this morning is? Today is the first day that no one will be in this house again until I say. <laughs> so no more people in here painting, no more people in here doing cabinets, no more people working in here when I wake up and I hear someone in my kitchen and I'm like, who the fuck is in here? Um, none of that. So I am feeling like a weight lifted off my shoulder that I can walk around with no bra on, no one's gonna show up today, like nothing. So. It feels just really good. Nick is gonna be home shortly. He had a meeting this morning, so he's running a little bit late, but I've got my raspberry leaf tea, possibly to induce labor. <laughs> and I'm going to actually call the insurance company in a minute because I really need to get a breast pump stat. So I'm gonna work on that. I would almost just rather go buy a breast pump. Like I swear insurance always has to make everything so difficult like you got to call 20 people you have to spend like two or three hours of your time <laughs> calling different people writing numbers down writing this down verifying this that i don't know i'm just like okay maybe i'm just being pissy and bitchy because i'm fucking so pregnant but like that just seems so ridiculous like the last time the last thing i need is to sit on the phone for three hours trying to figure out how to get a free breast pump i'm just gonna buy one We all know you want to go poop down there. <laughs> um, so this one, look how big the avocados are already. You see it? Oh uh, yeah, I do. Our doula is about to come over for a little bit. I am making some pork loins for Nick in the crock pot since I'm not going to be here tonight. He's shocked that I bought him pork because I don't eat pork. But I figured he loves it and he has something he likes while I'm gone. I'm gonna go um, over to Jenna's house tonight. I'm gonna get my lashes done by Faith. And then we're gonna get our toes done. I haven't had my toes done since we are in Mexico. So it's gonna be pretty exciting. And we are finally unpacking some stuff from our office. And we gotta put all this away. This has been sitting in the office for about a year now uh, during this remodel. So it's girls night and Jenna was so cute. She went to the grocery store and got all of the labor inducing snacks. <laughs> Garlic, pineapple. I'd never heard of balsamic. Yeah, balsamic vinaigrette. That's awesome. And then I think basil. That was another one. Basil, ah. so there's basil in this too. And then spicy. Yeah, well hopefully that's pretty spicy. All right, what are we doing? Getting eyelashes Lashes. done. Some people pack diaper bags to go to the hospital. Kristen gets her eyelashes done. <laughs> <laughs> I did pack the bag and there's tequila and a little sombrero in there and we're good. That's all we need. Perfect. Done and done. Done and done. Here are my lashes. I went right home and went to bed last night, but um, Nick likes my lashes, don't you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, we are actually headed to do something super freaking cool. So I'm from San Diego and if you're from San Diego, you most likely know the uh, sandwich shop Submarina. They have like really good sandwiches, like Subway's fucking disgusting. So is Togo's, so is Quiznos, like, um, Borden Brew is really good too. But uh, Submarina is a sub, like a sub chain franchise in San Diego. And I think there might be some in Orange County. Anyways, I, you know, have been looking for like what my next thing is gonna be. And obviously I'm taking some time because I'm having a baby uh, any day now. <laughs> um, but, this eyelash keeps getting stuck. Um, but I was interested in possibly um, having one out near our house because where we're at, there's not really many options and like everyone that lives out there and drives by our area 
is stuck with the very few options they have and there's been a nasty subway there for a while and it's still surviving and thriving somehow. Well, I don't know if it's thri thriving, but anyways, um, point is I reached out and I got an application for it and they wanted like so much information. It was insane. Like I could get like a mortgage for half the information they were asking for. So anyways, I just reached out to, um, the email that was on it. It turns out it's the CEO's email. So the CEO, um, agreed to show us and take us around a couple stores today. So that's what we're going to do. Um, I am not going to bring the vlog camera because this is like a business meeting and I don't want to whip out my vlog camera. I just think that that's not professional. So I will not be, um, bringing the vlog camera. I will not be bringing you guys for this. Sorry. But I am excited to see how it goes to meet this guy. It's really cool too because he and his brother, I guess, own the very first store and now own, now they are the franchisor, I think is how you say it. Franchise, yeah, and then you're a franchisee if you have a franchise. Whew. So we just visited uh, two submarine locations. We ate at the second one, which was super nice of them to give us a free lunch. Uh, and it was really nice. It was cool meeting with Brian and uh, kind of like learning about how they got started with everything. And we were just thinking about like our kids working at the submarina near our house that we own in the future. And then like all the fire kids, fire fam kids. Um, what do you think? Yeah, it's a cool idea. Yeah, I like it. Cinco, Cinco de Mayo. Oh yeah, Cinco de Mayo. Don't you mean Feliz Cinco de Mayo? I didn't say Happy Cinco de Mayo, I just said Cinco de Mayo. Oh, I said that to you earlier and you corrected me. <laughs> um, we just went to the birth center, had an appointment. It is Thursday, so I am going to be 40 weeks pregnant on Sunday. So there are no signs of this baby coming out today, but we did just have a very spicy sandwich. So maybe uh, helping her along. We have had some sex. We will have some more sex. <laughs> Seek's got that taken care of. Um, and then we might do some walking as well. We are actually going to pick up a, um, and I know you guys are gonna think I'm freaking crazy. Don't worry, I have help with my animals. Okay. So two things. Fernando is getting picked up by his new mom on Saturday. So I'm gonna miss the little guy, but I did have someone reach out to me that is moving across the country and she has to unfortunately get rid of her veiled chameleon. And then we are gonna go on a date tonight because it could possibly be our last date night together before we have a baby at home. So, he's taking me somewhere real fancy. Before this new roommate comes and rains in our parade. <laughs> new roommate. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Gosh, those look fucking good. <laughs> so we got quoted. Tell them how much we got quoted for these. Eight grand. Oh, Eight thousand dollars. Fat gap in the top one. Oh, is there? Yeah. Can't see up there. Yeah, he not only so he got the wood completely raw, stained it, painted it, sanded it, did all the stuff, routed out all the lighting stuff, and you've never even done that before. <laughs> Pretty freaking impressive. It looks rad. Well, Cinco de Mayo has come and gone. There's no baby here. Well, she's here, just not here. <laughs> so, um, I'm making some breakfast. Nick is building some Zen Habitats enclosures. Mm. So exciting. Uh, well, hope, maybe by the time you see this, she'll already be born and you'll know her name, but I don't know. Um, so, this is the monthly schedule. There's really nothing on here because we don't know when she's coming. So um, we have the river planned, but depending on when she comes, that may not be an option either, which I will be so bummed about because I have missed the last river trips for the past couple years, so. Welcome to Restaurante Rancho Kershaw. <laughs> I'm glad you dressed up for the occasion. Madam. Oh, okay. Oh, look at you. Oh, did you help dad? Oh my goodness. Oh, that looks amazing. That looks so good, babe. Thank you. 
I also love the Frank Sinatra. And I love that you used that um, a plant pot for our... It's not a plant pot, it's a wine bottle holder. <laughs> I love you. I'm going to show you guys one of the cutest things you'll see today. my little vine hanging onto this fake plant for dear life. So cute. I'm about to put these outside. Look, okay, arugula, please someone tell me how to grow this because this is, no, this is bullshit. But look at the basil and all these guys. Finally need to go outside so I can get my, um, my bathtub back. Uh, <laughs> bathtubs are very important while you're pregnant. Um, I've taken like two, so it's maybe three this whole pregnancy, so I'm about to move all these guys outside. Okay, here's how the mint is doing that I planted here. I know you guys said to take this out of here because it will take over the garden beds. I kind of knew that when I put it here, I just wanted to get it in the ground because um, Nick's going to build me a couple smaller versions of these that like are just a square that have just the mint. I don't know if you remember how this guy looked. This is coming back. Anyone who has grown cauliflower, can you tell me what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> I kind of expected just like one cauliflower thing in the middle and I have all these like little random ones. Um, but I need to do some research on that. These might die, I don't really care. Um, once the sun gets a little more overhead because it's only about 9, 9.30 right now, um, these will all be covered. And so um, that's the idea is to keep them shaded in the mid hot sun. It's funny how like this basil is the same as this one and this one and has been put in the same exact soil, watered the exact same, and they're totally different. Just got this the other day, so I'm gonna open this and start organizing some of our stuff like this into them. Not my best work, but hey, at least it gets some of these out of the cabinets. Um, I'm probably gonna like wash these and fill them with like stuff like, you know, sugar, um, spaghetti noodles, what else? Split peas, lentils, that sort of thing. Happy Sunday. Where'd the scissors go? We have had quite the morning. We had a turf guy over here. Um, I put in a different vlog before. We were looking at some different turf options for the backyard so that the baby will have some space to run around and the animals will have somewhere to hang out. I am currently cleaning out my rabbit area. I'm gonna fill this with some litter. Penny Kershaw. You better not be chewing on my cords back there. So we just put a down payment down to get some of the turf done, which is very exciting because I want to get it done. It's expensive, but also it needs to get done anyway. Good girl. Every time I walk back in here, she runs back in her cage like, oh, wasn't doing anything. Um, so we're also about to interview a possible nanny slash housekeeper. So that'll be cool. Um, my stepmom has already interviewed her, really liked her. So she's going to uh, come by. We're going to interview her. And hopefully get someone set up because my bitch ass needs some help in this house. <laughs> Not only with cleaning and having time for baby and stuff, but just with grocery shopping errands, organization, just all sorts of stuff. So this person is literally like a needle in a haystack that I need. <laughs> so wish me luck. Oh yes, and happy belated Mother's Day to you all. I'm saying it to you today on Mother's Day, but you won't see this until after Mother's Day. So happy belated Mother's Day. I, um... Still have a baby inside my stomach. She has not decided to join us Earthside yet. Well, it is almost the end of my due date day. <laughs> no baby yet, no labor. So apparently she's gonna be fashionably late. <laughs> we had a very good lazy day. We went to Home Depot. Um, the interview went really great. We really like her. So she might be a really good fit. Um, yeah, so I don't know, we'll see what happens here in the next few days. <laughs> I feel like in the next vlog, you will get to meet her and maybe we'll get to meet her, we'll see. Um, I can't remember if I introduced you guys yet to Max, so he's out in his little tree over here. Let's go say hi. Hi Max. 
You want to say hi? <laughs> I'm uh, working on building out his cage a little bit right now. Hey, buddy. <laughs> yep, he's not pleased. Hey, pretty boy. Hi. Are you handsome? Yes, you are. He's looking outside. <laughs> I'm gonna make your cage a little cooler and then we'll put you back in there. Thanks for watching guys and we will see you later.